So recently I fortified this Minecraft village. I built a wall, put up some barriers, set some traps, you know, just generally made it safer. All for the very unsafe purpose of starting a raid here. These here villagers have trusted me with their lives, with their homes, with their jobs. Will I be the hero of the village or will I let them down? Stay tuned to find out. Oh, what a beautiful day to start a raid. To start the raid, I needed the bad omen effect, and there was only two ways I could get that. One, I could wait for a pillager patrol to come by, or two, I could go ahead and find a pillager outpost. I wasn't trying to wait around, so I decided to go for the latter option and go find myself a pillager outpost. But that could be hundreds, if not thousands of blocks away, so I was not traveling that distance on foot. No, I needed a horse. And like something out of a dream, the most majestic white horse was waiting for me atop the hill right next to my base, so I had to go up there and tame it. <laughs> I think this horse senses my history with animals. After resisting for quite a while, which is, you know, that's fine considering my track record, I finally tamed this beauty to find out that she is not only fast, but also an incredible jumper. Guys, look how crazy, look at the hops this horse has. That's insane. I'm both incredibly excited and yeah, incredibly nervous. This could go poorly. Like there's there's every chance that this could go badly. And I lose my horse, I lose my villagers. A lot is riding on this. But I've come all this way. There's no turning back. Oh wait, I forgot something. Jokes! So me and Moonlight set off on our quest to find the pillager outpost. And along the way we saw some distant relatives of black and blue. Rest in peace. We also found another village in the plains, which uh, we managed to loot a couple of items from. But eventually we found the pillager outpost we were looking for and began our mission. Hey, hey, we found one. There it is, look, it's got the, the practice dummies, the targets. I'm thinking we park the horse here. Hey, don't go anywhere. Moonlight, come back, come back. Okay, out of sight, out of mind, right behind this mound and we go in stealth. Okay, I've already spotted some hostiles, not the sheep, this guy here, he's keeping watch. I don't see any raid captains. I'm gonna go with the full set of commando aqua styles underwater. Where was that guy before? There is there. Did he see me? Hey <laughs> oh, Okay, there's this one there too. I think I've set the alarm off. Where's the other one? We're going in. Turns out that my award-winning stealth entrance was probably not needed. This pillager outpost was it was completely empty. I checked every single floor and yeah, nothing. What about the top? Oh wow, it's completely empty. But I came here for a reason, so I had to just wait it out, wait for them to spawn. And after a few waves of some pretty unhappy pillagers, managed to get the first bad omen hey. effect. Raid captain, there we go, that's it, that's our win. All right, he sent out a little troop to come get me. Not today. <laughs> Yikes. There we go. That's it. Bad omen. Effect is on. At this point, I could return to the village and start the raid no problem. But I'd spent so long fortifying the village that I wanted to give it a good test. So I decided to hang around a little bit longer and stack the bad omen effect at least one more time. Don't mess with me. I got a sword and I got a shield. And is there, there's nothing behind me. Boom. There we go. Another one down. Bad Omen 2. We got it in the bag. It's time to go back. The last thing left to do is some vandalism. Gonna do some graffiti. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one again. There we go. Me. <laughs> it was time to head back, but I had that, that kind of like weird Minecraft guilt that you get. So I left a little tribute rose. Respect. And now all that was left to do was prepare for the raid, which started with me making sure my most valuable possessions were stored away safely. You are going into a very safe place. Come on, Moonlight. We're going to put you in here because I cannot risk losing you. Come on in. Nice. Safety first. We'll bump you in a little bit more. Uh-huh. Wish me luck, bees. Wish me luck. I need a shield. I broke mine at the Pillager Outpost. I think I should... Well, I've got such little iron. And shield. Can I combine these two things? I can. That's a pretty cool shield. I like that. That's actually sweet. I love that shield. Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. All right, this is it, everyone. The big moment. Uh, as soon as I step foot in that village, where I go? There's no turning back. I've got my fancy headphones on so I can hear everything. I don't know how close I can get. But yeah, let's hope that I've prepared enough. Here we go. I'm going to aim for the walls. Let's go on the walls. 
All right, the raid has started. <laughs> My heart's beating. In anticipation of the pillagers coming in over the walls, I'd installed a bunch of alarm traps using dispensers and firework rockets. But those sneaky pillagers somehow found a way around them. I think we're gonna start on the walls, make sure they're not getting in. Look, I see them. They're up on the, they're up on the hill. They haven't made it into the village. Is there any more? It's just that one there. That poses a great risk though. They could get into the village. So we need to get up there and evacuate the villagers right now. I had a sneaking suspicion that this hill would be the one weak spot in the village defense. So I prepared in advance by creating an evacuation plan for the villagers. I had them all loaded in minecarts, ready to go at a moment's notice into the evacuation shelter. The hole that once endangered the lives of these villagers would now become their lifeline. Oh no, the golems, the golems, okay. Oh gosh, golems are destroying them. There's one left though. Let's ring the bell, see if we can find them. Mmm, no sound. I have a secondary bell. I'm gonna use this one here, just check. And I'll just take this one with me. Okay, so they're not here. Whereabouts are they? There was one more pillager hiding somewhere in the village and I had to find them if I wanted to move on with the raid. So I did the only thing I could do. I ran around ringing the bell. Nothing up here. Oh, there they are. I found them eventually hiding up in the mountains and once I got rid of them, that was wave one over. The sun had set and wave two was in full effect. At this point, we haven't really given the village defenses much of a workout, but that was all about to change. Oh, we found them. The trap, they're stuck down here. You know what I think it calls for? I think it's time to activate the firewall. Here we go. Honestly, I don't think it was time to activate the firewall, but I was feeling trigger happy and you can't tell me this doesn't look freaking cool at night. But looking cool wasn't enough. All the pillagers managed to escape the firewall, so I decided to drop down and regretted it immediately. Okay, we need a- this is not good. We're taking them head on. Not great. Not great. Nice. What's the best way to approach this? Uh-oh. He's seen me? Uh-oh. He's coming. Dang. He takes my shield out so- oh, there we go. Took my shield out so easily. Oh, that was good. Alright. That's the wave over. The next one is on its way. I gotta get back into the village. Pressure's on, pressure is on. Fortunately for me, the next wave was gonna be a little bit easier because all of the pillagers spawned on top of the wall and walked straight into my powder snow trap. So, uh, you know, that was bad for them, but great for me. I can see that the number is decreasing already, which means that the powder snow trap is working, which is actually hilarious. The one mob that managed to survive the powder snow trap was the great ravager. So I started off shooting it with my bow, but decided to brave it and ran in with my sword. And yeah, managed to pull it off. And that was that. Uh-oh, there's a witch. She's gonna be throwing potions. If we get hit by one of those, it could mean game over. Where's everyone else though? Okay, just the potion thrower. Well, uh, two can play at that game. While I was preparing for this raid, I realized I'd be up against some pretty tough mobs. So I decided to give myself a strategic advantage and get some potions, but that was gonna require a trip to the nether. Swing better, swing better. Baby. Let's go, nailed it. Put me on coach, here we go. Ouch, okay, take me off coach, take me off. I don't like this biome. <laughs> There's so many casts. Why are there so many casts? But this wasn't gonna be any ordinary nether trip. No, this nether was amplified, which meant that it was twice as big, twice as scary, and twice as dangerous. I don't like that sound. <laughs> Why is it so sloppy? It's supposed to be dry in the nether. After traveling hundreds and hundreds of blocks, I finally found the nether fortress. I'd done it. This was it, except that it wasn't because this fortress did not have any nether wart. So I had to get back out there and keep searching. It's lots of lava, endless lava. Thankfully though, I managed to find another nether fortress, get the nether wart and return home safe and sound. Now the trick is you leave some in case everything goes wrong, you can come back and get it next time. What do I drop? I've got so much junk. Strength two plus a sharpness five sword. I'm gonna be unstoppable. This is gonna be fantastic. Only to then throw my potion on the ground. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I threw it away from myself. That's not ideal. There's three witches. As long as they don't use like invisibility or anything. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm outside the wall. That was an accident. 
Uh oh, I'm getting poisoned. There's a lot down here. This is, I'm in a bad spot right now. This is not good. If I can take out the witch first, then she'll stop healing the other guys. There we go, witch is down. That was a lot of poison. Man, I do not want to get hit by one of those again. This wave turned out to be probably the most unsuccessful of the whole raid, but I finished off the last remaining mobs and got ready for the next one, which alternatively turned out to be one of the more eventful waves of the whole raid. All right, bring it on raiders. Where are you? They're on the roof. So this was kind of an awkward spawn because it put me in a tight spot. Either they had to come down or I had to go up and we both know that my path finding was better than theirs. Right. Just in case they come down into the village, we're going to activate some of the troops. Oh, there's a witch on the wall as well. That's not good. That is not good. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't get hit by the poison. Don't get hit by, by the poison. No one has come down into the village. Look at that boy. He's so big. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's jumping down. Uh oh. Oh, no, this is not, not good. Afraid for my life, I quickly dashed inside the tower where thankfully I'd left a backup stash of supplies should something like this happen. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll attack from behind. Oh, that didn't work at all. Uh oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Swiftness, we gotta get away. We gotta get away. I got strength. Holy. Oh, oh he's roaring at me. <laughs> All right, there we go. One more down. With the Ravager now taken out, my focus shifted to the ones remaining on the roof. I still had an access shaft inside the tower in the form of a ladder from when I, when I built the thing. So I climbed up that and stealthily managed to take them out from behind. <laughs> there we go. All right, is that everyone? No one survived that fall. We were almost done. There were only three waves remaining. The first of which was completed single-handedly by the Iron Golems. They did such a good job. They deserve a prize. <laughs> Golems, go to work. Nice work, everybody. Mr. Beast, you're doing a fantastic job, all right? But as soon as that one finished, the next one started and required me to really pay attention. Uh oh I just saw them coming into the village. Okay, okay. There's two Ravages, a whole bunch of Vindicators. Okay. The traps. The traps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please let this work. Please let this work. They're underneath. Are they on the gravel, though? <gasps> Things weren't looking good. My trap had failed. I was now getting hunted by pillagers, but it was okay. I still had a couple more tricks up my sleeve. Oh, this guy's seen me. He's coming for me. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I love a trap work. We were pretty much on the home street. You know, there was only a handful of mobs left and then we were done with this wave and on to the final showdown. But there was still an evoker out there. So I made sure I was prepared. Okay, I think I'm ready for this. Fight me. Okay. <laughs> We can't let him. Oh my goodness. These vexes are so good. Ugh, so good at killing me. So many vexes. I can't get them. They're out of my reach. One down. There's another one here. Hey, come here. One more. Thank goodness I have thorns. Okay. It's not. What the heck? It just rained villages. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, well, uh. <laughs> We had a good run. <laughs> it was great while it lasted. Honestly, I thought this was the end. I didn't see any possible way forward. I was like, nope, this is it. Game over. But those iron golems, you know, they had my back. Save me, golems. Save me. Hey, guys, 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 I need you right now. Help me. Help me. Get him! Get him! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the goal. Yikes! <laughs> Is it? No, I'm not gonna. No, I gotta. I can't. Okay. <laughs> there he is. Shield up. That's not a shield. That's not a shield. That's just a banner. <laughs> Me and you, buddy. 1v1. That's it. That's me. We did it, boys. We did it. Oh, yes. Everyone. I did it. Well, we did it. We actually did it. We fortified the village, set some traps, and actually beat the raid. It's it's amazing. I can't believe it. I'd just like to say a massive, massive thank you to you guys for your love on the series, for your comments, your ideas, and suggestions. I appreciate all of it. Thank you so much. But for now, after all that, I think it's time to celebrate. And my favorite way to celebrate is by building. So yeah, maybe next time we transform all these guys' houses. Give them a nice upgrade. See you next time.